the CNBC GOP presidential debate has a lot of people talking. Last night, all the candidates faced off. They talked about policy, personalities, and the media. It was a two hour televised debate with the top 10 candidates live in prime time, but the other four also had their moment in the spotlight. And Patrick, many people are also talking about the impressive night South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham had. He was part of the non primetime debate on CNBC. This was the third time that former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum, former New York Governor George Pataki, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal and South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham took part in the so called undercard debate. While most of the candidates took aim at the policies of President Obama, the Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton, Senator Graham delivered some of the debate's most memorable lines, especially when asked about his, if his policies were too liberal. Graham also strongly defended his stance on immigration and why he says voters should elect him president. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the foreign policy of Barack Obama needs to be replaced, and the last person you want to find to replace his foreign policy is his Secretary of State. So to the Chinese, when it comes to dealing with me, you got a clenched fist or an open hand. You pick. The party's over to all the dictators. Make me commander-in-chief, and this crap stops. Many Republicans took note of Senator Graham's performance last night, including Mitt Romney. Romney tweeted, after hearing Lindsey Graham's talk foreign policy tonight, it's clear he belongs on the big stage. The Clemson Palmetto poll released yesterday had Graham in seventh place with 3% of the vote. Graham is hoping last night's strong performance helps him climb higher in those polls. He sure is. Uh, now, we're going to head on to that primetime debate. Where the focus on Hillary Clinton continued. There were also a lot of tense moments between the 10 candidates with the CNBC moderators. Now, Nigel, you mentioned that the new Clemson Palmetto poll, uh, at the very top of that poll, it's Dr. Ben Carson now, then Donald Trump, and Senator Marco Rubio in third. Here's some of what they had to say. I'm not running against anyone on the stage. I'm running for president because there is no way we can elect Hillary Clinton John. to continue the policies hey, of Barack Obama. Thank you, Senator. Remember, we have 645 federal agencies and sub agencies. Mm -hmm. Anybody who tells me that we need every penny in every one of those is uh, in a fantasy world. We can do a wall. We're going to have a big, fat, beautiful door right in the middle of the wall. We're going to have people come in, but they're coming in legally. And Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Now that he's fallen to second in many polls, there was a lot of talk about a possible verbal attack by Trump on Dr. Carson. That did not happen. Instead, the candidates sparred with the moderators. This is not a cage match. And you look at the questions. Donald Trump, are you a comic book villain? Ben Carson, can you do math? John Kasich, will you insult two people over here? All types of energy. I've laid out... Being government? No. John? John, do you want me to answer? You want to answer. <laughs> So Florida Senator Marco Rubio is getting high marks for his performance last night. So, of course, we'll have to wait and see uh, how that looks in the polls. Next week, it's a Democrat's turn. Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Martin O'Malley will be live in Rock Hill Friday night, November 6, for a Democratic Forum at Winthrop University. We will be there and bring you complete coverage both on air and online at WIFF4.com.